Major! Too slow! Ugh! Tyr, stop this foolishness. Commandant Grants is worried about you. You are the fools! We know about your health. Is this world really worth giving your own life to save? I'm sure you've heard the truth about Hod. Politicians controlled by the score, using it for their own ends, just as Van said. Then join us. The Commandant will spare you and the other survivor of Hod. Thanks, but I'll pass on a world replaced entirely with replicas. What's wrong with the land and people we have now? They will never escape the curse of Yulia's score. In time, you'll come to understand just how accurate Yulia's score is. The score is stronger than a few disturbances. History will proceed as the Seventh Phone Stone shows. The Seventh Phone Stone? Has Van found it? No, Tyr. That was it. That thing was the Seventh Phone Stone. Wait! Apparently, she didn't come here to fight. Guy, where did you see the seventh phone stone? In Hod. When I was a kid, Van took me to see it once. In Hod? That's the first I've heard of that. Van said it was in a secret place, its location passed down within the Fende family. Fende was one of the seven sages who served Yulia. Yulia's children carried on her phonic hymns and abilities from one generation to the next. You're one of Yulia's descendants yourself, are you not? Well, that's what Van told me. I don't have any proof, though. But you can sing those phonic hymns! And only a descendant of Yulia would be guarding the Seventh Phone Stone. The Seventh Phone Stone disappeared into the core along with Hod. That light we saw when going into the core, that was the Seventh Phone Stone. I'm sure of it. If the Seventh Phone Stone was in Hod, then when Hod was destroyed, it could have sunk into the liquefied land, but... Then Master Van knows the future written on the Seventh Phone Stone? Could we actually be doing something bad? The Outer Lands will fall regardless. It's better to lower them slowly so people don't get hurt. Yeah, you're right. I'm just worried about everything we don't know. No sign of Master Van being here. Go ahead, Ion. Right. Hang in there, Ion. Thank you. I'm sorry. This always happens. I have the original's abilities, but not his strength. You weren't just sick after all. Right. It's a strange feeling seeing the research I began spread in this way. I think Ash is angry about it, but I'm seriously grateful. If you hadn't thought of Plomacry, I'd never have been born. Though I probably wasn't meant to be. Luke, you said you weren't going to talk like that anymore. Yeah, stop putting yourself down. Yeah, stop, Master! All right, all right. Wow! I didn't expect to see foam machines like these in a place like this! Why the hell do you sound so happy? Living in Kim Laska opened my eyes to the wonders of phonic technology.
Don H phone machines were built so well. Men really like this sort of thing, don't they? My papa likes building models too. He's like a little kid. Whatever, women just don't get it. Come on, let's go, let's go! You should have become a phonic technician instead of a swordsman. Awesome! It's a mechanical doll! Wait, if it attacks you... This isn't a combat machine, Tyr. It's probably here to maintain the phone machinery. You mean he's the one who maintains the passage ring? Well, the passage rings throughout the world are all connected. Maybe when there's a serious problem, this guy heads out to fix it. But the passage rings wound up breaking anyway. Well, yeah. If the Sephiroth going out of control had been written in the score, then perhaps this mechanical doll was programmed with how to deal with it. It looks like the passage ring is down below. The elevator's not working. The power's out. Are you serious? Are there any stairs or anything? I don't see any. Then I guess Guy or Jade will have to work their magic. I'm sorry, I'm afraid my specialty is phonic arts. I'll pass. But you made phomicry. I just developed the theory. It was Dist who built the phone machinery. You look concerned. We need to replace the broken power supply with a new one, but... There's no replacement. Except for him. If we take his power supply and attach it here, it'll probably work. What? If you take his power supply, he'll stop working! Yeah, but that's the only way. But he's working so hard! I feel sorry for him! We don't have a choice. There's no other way. Sophie! 
you have your guards down. Your turn, guy. Right. Luke! I know, I'm coming. Dear, please put this on your arm. What is it? A blood phonon meter. I want to confirm whether the passage rings really are the cause. I see. Now, please activate it. The measurement will occur automatically. Luke, please operate it as you did in Tataru Valley. Okay. Done. Looks like the measurement is complete as well. May I have that back? How's the miasma reading, Colonel? An abnormal level of miasma is flowing into Tyr from the passage ring. It's probably responding to Tyr's genetic data. I don't think there's any doubt that she's a descendant of Yulia. Yulia must have entered her own data into this device. Why are the seventh phonons contaminated with the miasma? The miasma seems to come from inside the planet. Perhaps the core is contaminated. So the center of the entire planet is contaminated. Can we really neutralize all that? Actually, if the core is the source, then we can probably find a solution. Wait, what? We can do something about the miasma? Yes, if we use the planet's gravity. I'm not an expert, so I can't promise anything. But at least there's a chance. Yes, and Belkind has done a lot of research on gravity. They should prove more useful than I am. Then let's get back to Belkind. Tyr, what is it? Feeling sick again? What? Oh, no, it's nothing. Let's go.
Hey, it's Aston. Luke! How are you doing? You're alive! I'm the only one of our senior brigade who survived. I didn't get to join them. What are you saying? Even if it's just you, thank goodness someone lived. But why are you here, Aston? If I don't keep myself busy, I start thinking about Eoman and the others. So, I made the Albior 2. Uh, wait. We broke the first one. The Albior 3! Anyway, I made it. And then it crashed again? Now listen here, little lady. I was in the middle of a test flight when I saw you people and... Ah! You! Spinoza! Eavesdropping again? You're such a creep! Stop! Let's follow him! Albior 2. He's only got enough fuel for a test flight. He should fall soon. Spinoza is a top physicist. If he were on our side, he'd be useful in dealing with Miasma. Got it. We'll catch up to him in the Albior. I'm coming along too. Sturdy craft. A mere crash isn't going to hurt its passengers. The monsters here would be rough on an elderly man. He'll probably run for the city. Okay, to Belkin. As you go, we have a lot to talk about. You're coming with us. Just what did you plan to do after eavesdropping on us? Were you going to report to Master Van again? N no. Please, everyone. We won't learn anything by shouting at him. 
Why were you in the Mejiora Highlands? I... I went to Sheridan to pay my respects to everyone's graves. There, I heard Aston was going to the Mejiora Highlands. I thought I'd apologize to him. Then why the hell did you run away? I... I was scared. I didn't know what to say, so... Do you expect us to believe that? It's your fault the Commandant found out about us. It's true that I betrayed Henkin and Kathy not just once, but twice. I ignored them and conducted forbidden research. Then I sold them up the river to Van. I know I can never undo that, but when they were killed, I realized what I'd done. I asked myself if my research was really worth killing my friends for. I think we can believe what he's saying. Luke. It was hard for me to acknowledge destroying Axaryuth. Once I did, I felt I had to do something to make up for it. Spinoza is me back then. If your resolve is true, then there's something we want your help on. Wh what is it? Research. How to neutralize, or rather, isolate the miasma. We need your expertise in physics. Colonel, you're going to trust him? Whatever his character, we need his brain. Please, let me do it. Research is all I can do. You're my brother's, Van's, research scientist. If you do that, he may kill you. I'll do it anyway. Please, let me do it. How about we try trusting this fool one last time? But he's a traitor! What if we have him join the research under 24-hour surveillance? I don't have the authority. Then I'll give the order. Set things up as Jade said. Yes, Your Highness. I'll put everything I've got into this research. Thank you so much. Well, if he betrays us after saying all that, he's quite the actor. My Miasma isolation plan consists of just a few scribbles, but here you are. Please read it over. We'll take Spinoza to Phone Machine Lab 1. I'll repair the Albior 3 and return to Sheridan. Show us what you can do, Spinoza. Oh, I have a message for you all from the researchers. The remaining Sephiroth is near Doth's Cathedral. The cathedral? I had no idea. That place is pretty big after all. Let's go look for it. Why do they believe him so easily? They're all so stupid.
passage ring is inside the cathedral. I don't know, but it's rumored that there's a passage from the cathedral into Mount Zalejo. If people are saying that much, there may also be a path to the passage ring. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, Master Ion, you're back. We've come looking for the Sephiroth. Yes, I've received a report from Yulia City. The passage ring is... beyond that door. It's a straight path, so you can't get lost. What's Master Van doing? Huh. He abandoned his duty and ran off somewhere with the God Generals. I don't see many Oracle soldiers either. Don't tell me. More than half of them ran off to join Van. It's infuriating. Now I've got my hands full rebuilding the Oracle Knights. Oh, the room connected to the passage ring is past a corridor that's hidden to keep out intruders. Good luck finding it. some human being. He's probably grumpy because the peace treaty has made it hard to start his war. It's a lot better than having him get in our way. Yes, he just wants to uphold the score. His aim has nothing to do with Vans causing the land to fall or his vision of a replica world. He shouldn't have any reason to interfere with us. Master Van, I wonder where he went. It couldn't be. Do you have an idea? No, not really.
This room has a hidden corridor that goes to the passage ring? He said it was a straight path. Let's try looking around. There was a hidden passage here. But why did Mose know about this and not Ion? I imagine the original probably knew. Okay, let's go take a look. Can I ask you a question? What is it, Colonel? You knew about this place, didn't you? Really? No, I didn't! I had no idea about it! Now let's go! Come on, hurry! Gee, I wonder if she's lying. Don't worry about it. It looks like they're doing some sort of research here. It probably belongs to Moe's. Just what is he doing? Let's not worry about that. Where's the passage ring? Annis, if you sound too suspicious, I'm going to feel like asking you to explain. Uh... Perhaps it's in here. Let's take a look.
Podcast. Okay, Ion. If you would. Right. You collapse every time you open one of these doors. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I'm worried about you. I'm sorry, Ion. No, I'm happy to be of use. This looks like fun. I won't allow It's really hot in here. Aya, are you okay? Yes. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's hurry up and take care of this place. W what is it, Colonel? Is it my cuteness? Uh, no matter. This isn't a place I'd like to linger around in either. Right. Let's take care of what we came here to do. Power is. 
Are you feeling all right? Yes, the medicine's working. Go ahead and activate the controls. Right. Done. Next up, Mount Roniel? Yes, but before that, let's return to Belkind and check with Spinoza. We might be able to learn how to deal with the miasma. Yeah! Let's hurry up and get far away from here. <sighs> You've been extremely suspicious right to the very end.
You live up to your reputation, Dr. Balfour. Your plan just might work. Then you mean we can neutralize the miasma? No, not neutralize, isolate. What do you mean? Between the Outer Lands and the Cliffoth exists a force field called the Dividing Line. Right, Tyr? I yes, it's a region of force created by the Sephiroth trees. It holds up the Outer Lands. More accurately, the upward force of the dividing line is in equilibrium with the planet's gravity. Lowering the outer lands means breaking that gravitational equilibrium. When the descent begins, the dividing line creates downward force. That becomes a membrane that will push the miasma back beneath the surface into the core. But that isn't actually getting rid of it. Are you sure it won't come out again? If the miasma originates in the core, then it flooded the cliff off because the Sephiroth are open. Once the Outer Lands are lowered, if we shut down all the passage rings, the Sephiroth will close and the Miasma will stop coming out. With the core's vibration stopped, the liquefied land has begun to solidify quickly. So even if we close the Sephiroth, the land won't be swallowed up. That's fantastic! And to think you came up with it before me, the Master Physicist! Even so, we couldn't have been sure without having it checked by an expert. Now all that's left is to do something about the Sephiroth at Mount Rhaenyl. We should rest at the inn before heading there. Tyr, get them to give you some more medicine in the meantime. Oh, right. I'll do that. I think it'll take some time, so go on. Go to bed. Okay, then we'll meet up tomorrow in front of the inn. Researchers said she headed to the port with the Phonamine Gathering Team. Ash came here to see Spinoza. Supposedly he went with her. Ash too? What's going on? And we found this in her room. What is it? It's an ore that can be found in Orshan Cavern. So Tyr went to go do something in Orshan Cavern? Yeah, what do you want to do? Go after her, what else? Right, let's go.
goes there? Look and Colonel Ash. No, it's the replica. Stop! Commandant Grant said to let them through. Ignore them and return to your work. Yes, ma'am. What's that mean? Just what I said. You're searching for Tyr and Ash, are you not? I'll let you pass. Go on in. This is certainly a surprise. I'm merely respecting Commandant Grant's wishes. You're headed for Mount Roneal next anyway. We'll settle things between us there. I'm worried about Tyr and Ash. Let's hurry. This is where... Ash... What's wrong, Natalia? No, it's nothing. Ah! Are you okay? <sighs> You're actually kind of a klutz, aren't you? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing Thank you, Luke. Don't worry about it. Let's get going. I see your friends have come for you. Go. You too, Ash. Van, if you keep this up, the Miasma will destroy your body too. All that matters is that I free humanity from the score and give it a way to survive. Master Van, what were you doing here? They're planning to abandon Belkind and move to a new Fomagri research facility. Master, why are you so obsessed with making a replica world? Fomagri consumes large volumes of Seventh Phonons. Even with all the Seventh Phonons in the world, you still couldn't replicate the entire planet. He intends to use the enormous mass of Seventh Phonons in the core, Lorelei. The stronger the core's vibration, the stronger the planet storm, and the more Seventh Phonons available. But you all put a stop to that. So that's why you didn't want the core stopped. The slightest mistake in Fomagri creates replicas that perish right away. That phenomenon is caused by seventh phonons separating from the replica. If the separation is stopped, the replica survives. It's impossible. To begin with, phonons of the same type are attracted to one another. The seventh phonons will separate from matter and return to the planet storm. He plans to destroy the aggregate of seventh phonons, Lorelei. Then the surplus seventh phonons will disappear. And without any seventh phonons to attract them, they won't separate. Without the seventh phonon, the score cannot be read. The score will disappear, and replicas will persist. Two birds with one stone. Van intends to use Luke to accomplish that. It can't be done using the reject. It has to be Ash. <sighs> Commander, we finished loading the supplies. I need you. I'll wait for you at the absorption gate. Van, wait! I didn't want to fight you. I'm sorry it had to come to this, Mysterica. 
Damn it! I won't let you get away! You're in no shape to do that! It's gone, just as I thought. Where are you going? I have no time. We should return to town ourselves. Yes, we're near Sheridan. Can we please take that Cheagle with us? Oh, yeah. No one's going to be coming here anymore. Okay, let's take him. Here, please tell us what you were doing. I'm sorry. I thought the miasma might be accumulating in my brother, too, since he also used the passage rings. And you were worried about him? Worried? Yes, perhaps that's what it was. I saw Major Legretta drop the Orshan Cavern ore. I felt like he was calling me. So I thought I'd try to persuade him one last time, alone. That's a sister for you. But that's over now. This whole time, I kept hoping that Van might stop this insanity. But Van and I have chosen our separate paths. Are you sure you're okay with having to fight him? Did you forget? That's why I came to the Outer Lands. I won't hesitate any longer. It sounds like she's made up her mind. Shall we head for the next passage ring? Next is Mount Rhaenyl, which is supposedly crawling with lots of nasty monsters. Legretta and the other god generals will be waiting for us as well. Major? It's a dangerous place, but there's definitely a passage ring there. Are you ready, Tyr? Yes, of course. Okay, then let's head for Mount Ronil. If you don't mind, I'd like to stop in Ketterberg. Let's ask Nefri about the current conditions on Mount Ronil. Okay.
Jade, perfect timing. What is it? Saphir collapsed in the town square and hasn't woken up since. Saphir? Dist's real name. Huh? What's Dist doing collapsed out here? Apparently my brother promised to meet Saphir here. He keeps mumbling, is Jade here yet? Didn't we get a letter from him when we were looking for the flight stone? My, he waited so dutifully for Jade. Well, he is an idiot after all. Still, this is convenient. We'll beat him awake and ask him about Mount Roniel. Where is he? I rented a room at the inn and put him to bed there. Then call the military police and send them to the inn. You're going to arrest him. Fine, but don't let them do anything violent to him. I wouldn't dream of it. Now then, Luke, let's go to the inn. Right. Jade, wait for me. <sighs> He's playing tag with you in his dreams, Colonel. Well now, I'll just ask him a little about Mount Roniel. Please, wait outside. have led to more frequent avalanches. Also, an extremely powerful monster has taken up residence in the deeper parts. The monsters in the area have likely grown aggressive due to that influence. Oh, okay, um, about that scream just now? Oh, that was nothing. Now, let's be going. Right.
The Guard General Dist is inside. Arrest him immediately. Yes, sir. I soften him up a little, but stay cautious. Understood. Now we can head for Mount Ronil. I think I understand now why everyone is so scared of you.